The President Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Al Mujiba Abubakar, has urged all federal government to summon leaders of agencies in the export sector to enforce single desk clearance for exporters in order for Nigeria to remain competitive on the continent. Abubakar made this demand at the opening ceremony of the 16th Abuja International Trade Fair on Monday in Abuja. Benedict Uku has more on this story. 15 countries, including local and international, have begun participation in the annual 16th Abuja International Trade Fair, which kicked off last Thursday, and it includes businesses such as micro, small, and medium enterprises from within and outside the country. During his welcome address at the 16th Abuja International Trade Fair, the President Abuja Chamber of Commerce Al Mustaba Abubakar noted that Nigeria is facing low export and high import. Hence, federal government should summon leaders of agencies in the export sector to enforce single dex clearance for exporters. As a chamber, we have embarked on a series of activities to strengthen the capacity of our members and the private sector as a whole to be strong players at the continental level. As a nation facing low export and high import, and facing stiff competition from over 50 countries under the Africa trade, we must take export mobilization as an emergency. The presidency, presidency should call on all leaders of agencies in the export sector to enforce single desk clearance for exporters. This is the only way to ensure Nigerian competitiveness and strength of the biggest economy in the continent. While highlighting some of the programs initiated by the Ministry to promote small and medium enterprises in Nigeria, the Minister of Trade and Investment, Niyi Adebayo, represented by Aliyu Abubakar, noted that the platform would promote and strengthen businesses, trade and investment opportunities in the country. The government has um an array or variety of um, measures, policies and incentives to promote uh, businesses. And uh, if I may talk specifically about uh, the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, we have policies, programs and measures in three different areas where we support businesses. So as a result of that, government is coming up, uh, has come up with ease of doing business and uh, it has actually helped Nigeria in to move up the ladder in terms of um, ease of doing business ranking. In the, rank in the world ranking of, on ease of doing business, we used to be 169, but we are now 139. So you can see the, the jump, but we still need to do more. The Director General of Nigeria Export Promotion Council revealed some of the grand loans the federal government are disbursing to cushion the effect of COVID-19 on SMEs. Nigerian Export Promotion Council currently is disbursing grants given by the federal government was a 50 billion grant under the Economic Sustainability Plan. And we are doing it under what we call EEFP, that's Economic Expansion, Export Expansion Facility Program. Many exporters applied for these grants and they have been given. Right now we are disposing the grant. The purpose of this grant is to cushion the effect of COVID-19. So we want to take advantage of this platform of the African continental free trade area to make sure we boost Nigerian trade across Africa. I think uh, there is a lot of opportunities to be explored among African countries and this is the only forum that any country can market itself to the others and that's why we are here to show our cores that we are uh, really supporting African continental free trade area. The Abuja International Trade Fair themed exploring opportunities of the Africa continental free trade area is expected to deepen the nation's economic exchange and enhance business prosperity in Nigeria.